Hello guys, welcome back to yet another interesting video. So finally now we can install the ColorOS 15 on OnePlus 12 and that too official version, which also includes the OTA update and other stuff. And in this video, we'll show you guys in detail how can you install ColorOS 15 on your OnePlus 12. I mean any unit, it doesn't matter if it's Indian or if it's from other country. So now without wasting any more time, let's get started. So here you can see I have my OnePlus 12 on which currently I'm running Oxygen OS 15 and this is the latest build currently for my OnePlus plus 12 which is version 15.0.0.305 but guys before starting with the installation process we have 85 percent of users who haven't subscribed to our channel so if you guys find our videos helpful to you do consider subscribing and also press the bell icon to get notified whenever we upload a new video so if you're installing for the first time one thing is required and that's the unlock bootloader that is only once guys i'll also show you guys how can you relock the bootloader so that you receive ot updates from color os and i did test out color os 15 on my oneplus 12 and trust me it feels a lot smoother it has better performance compared to oxygen os 15 it has things like oneplus stock dialer oneplus stock messaging app and it also supports 5g now let's not waste much of time and directly start with the installation process so first what you have to do is you need to download the files on your pc so here you can see these are the two files one is if you guys want to revert back to oxygen os here we have the file and the second one is if you want to install color os based on android 15 so download these files from the description below so this is the current latest update for color os which is version 15.0.0.304 so download this file and place it here once you have downloaded you need to extract the zip file meanwhile we are extracting this file what you can do go to your device about section tap on version and now here tap on version seven times until you see you are a developer now once that's done go back go to developer options and from here you need to enable two things one is usb debugging so you might see a pop-up asking you to allow usb debugging if it's your personal pc you can check always allow to this computer and then you need to enable oem unlocking so once you are done with extracting the zip file open the folder and now here you have a lot of files so first what you need to check all the required drivers are properly installed on your pc for that what you can do type cmd in the address bar and give a command adb devices you can find all the commands in the description below guys once you type this command hit enter and you should see a serial number that means your pc have proper adb drivers installed if you don't see anything here then i can provide you the adb drivers link that's a exe file just double click on that and install the drivers you are good to go a dedicated video is already made if you are facing any issues with the drivers you can watch out the video which is being displayed on the screen now you need to boot your device into bootloader for that give a command adb reboot bootloader now our device will boot into bootloader and from here we need to unlock the bootloader of a oneplus 12. so here you can see our device have successfully booted up and device state says locked now to unlock the bootloader you need to give a command which is fast boot flashing unlock and hit enter on the screen you can see there are two options one is do not unlock the bootloader and the second one is unlock the bootloader so using the volume key i'll select unlock bootloader and make selection using the power key now your data will be wiped so make sure you take a backup of your device before installing now our device will boot into system so our device have been successfully booted up now you can complete the initial setup i don't recommend adding your google account again because if you are trying to lock the bootloader again it will wipe the data so i'll skip everything from here now again go to the settings about section tap on version number again seven times until you see you are a developer now now go to system and updates developer options and now you can see here we have unlocked the device that's the reason oem unlock is not highlighted scroll down and enable usb debugging allow the permissions now on your pc you need to again give the command which is adb devices just to cross check guys and after that give another command which is adb reboot bootloader now your device will again boot into fast boot mode now what you need to do just minimize this command prompt and here from the folder which we have extracted if you are using windows then run this file which ends with .bat double click on this Windows Defender might not give you permission to proceed but tapping on more info you can tap on run anyway and now you can see the process have started the process will hardly take around five to six minutes and your device should boot with color os 15 now so let's wait for the process to complete after that i'll get back to you guys Okay, so now you can see the process have been completed here without any kind of errors and device have started booting up. You can see the boot animation of ColorOS.
So here you can see the initial setup of ColorOS 15 and this is how it looks. You can take a look which is pretty cool. I'll just complete the initial setup and I'll relog the bootloader and show you guys. And you don't have to worry guys, we also have the support of multiple languages. If you guys want a specific language, you can take a look at the language support. I'll slowly scroll down. It includes languages even like Hindi. And guys, you can also import your data from other OnePlus smartphone. Like for example, if you are taken the backup previously before flashing ColorOS 15, you can still use those files to restore the entire data. So here you can see your device have been successfully booted into ColorOS 15. There will be many Chinese applications which are pre-installed, but you can disable them. See, few of the applications can be uninstalled directly by long pressing on the application. But some of the applications like browser, app market, for this you require an ADB tool. You can find that video in the description below. Using that video, you can delete almost all the Chinese application or the bloatware installed on ColorOS. Don't worry, I'll provide you all the links in the description below. Now, if you want to log the bootloader, what you have to do is again go to about section. On the version, tap for seven times until you see you are a developer. Now, just go back, go to system and update. From developer options, enable USB debugging. And as I told you guys, it's an official build which we are installing. You can see we also received an OTA update. But I don't recommend installing the OTA update until and unless you have logged the bootloader. So I do recommend log the bootloader first. After that, you can install the OTA update on your device. So again, on your PC, what you have to do is just open the previous command prompt. Give the similar commands first to check the ADB devices. After that, second command is to reboot into bootloader. And from here, you need to give a command to log the bootloader. For that command is fastboot flashing. Instead of unlock, you need to write log and hit enter. Now from here you can log the bootloader and enjoy official ColorOS 15 on your OnePlus 12. I'm currently not logging the device because I need to test out few more things. But this way just use the volume key to highlight lock bootloader and make selection using the power key. And guys if you want to downgrade to Oxygen OS, so here you need to download the file which is based on Oxygen OS. I'll just unzip the file so that if you guys want to roll back to Oxygen OS, how you can do that. But for that, make sure you haven't logged the bootloader. And here you'll have the file of Oxygen OS. So this is the model number of my OnePlus 12. Depending on your model number, download the file and download the latest build. Currently 305 is the latest build for Oxygen OS. Just download it and again, as said, extract the file. And to downgrade, the process is same. You just have to use the similar commands. After that, just run the file, which is .bat from Oxygen OS firmware instead of ColorOS firmware. So guys, this way you can enjoy ColorOS 15 on any OnePlus 12. If you still have any kind of questions, drop them in the comment section below. This is your friend Ashok signing out. See you guys in the next video.